All right, guys. Uh, well, we just uh, finished the welding and the assembly of the tube bender, and it's all in kind of its raw state before paint and finished details and stuff like that. So I'll probably go over and clean all the little rest of the little weld, you know, beads everywhere, and just uh, knock down some of the edges and things, and just clean it. Spend some time cleaning it up. Um, but right now we got it plugged in. Got it plugged into the air compressor. Got all the little springs and uh, dies in it. Uh, so this is kind of what it looks like all together. We just have a short piece of test uh, stock in it right now. This is uh, one in five eighths uh, with, uh, I think it's 120 wall um, thickness. So, so we'll see um, how it bends and just see what goes on right now. Uh, there's a, you know, it, so far it's real simple and easy and uh, it's going together pretty good. Uh, you know, haven't really had any issues and really the, uh, this thing, if, if we weren't filming this and and spending all day, you know, downloading uh, video and, and clearing out our memory sticks, this could probably be done in, you know, two hours for someone who doesn't have any welding experience really or, or anything. Uh, you know, I think Joe says he can knock them out in about 30 minutes or so, fully welded and everything. Uh, but, you know, he's got welders that do that. And I think, you know, for a garage project and a really nice, good size, welder that's heavy duty that can bend uh, thick steel and all different various types of steels. Uh, it's looking pretty good. So I'm going to grab a little handle. My air compressor is loaded. So we're going to give it a bend and just see uh, what, what we can do with it. So it's pretty quick. Um, it's kind of loud because it's air. So I won't be talking through it much. Uh, so anyway, here you go. And I'm going to start. pulling it out of this thing. Oh, it's coming out. Okay, so maybe we haven't tightened that little piece down very well. Uh, yeah, I thought it was pretty tight. Eh? I did too. <laughs> I'm gonna release the pressure. So I'm going to loosen this little piece up right here. I may not have tightened this down very well. Oh yeah, it kind of loosened up quite a bit, dude. What's this? Uh, all right. So we're just going to give it, I don't know, should we just put it back at the end? Yeah, I'll leave a little bit sticking out. Okay, let's leave a little bit sticking out. Not much to grab onto. All right. Yikes. I think there's some spacers in here that I need to put for this block, so it's kind of wiggly right now. Oh. I think I grabbed the right, uh, yeah, that's the right one. Yeah? All right, so we're gonna try it again, see if that loosens up at all. All right, here it goes.
stuck. <laughs> All right, so so we did a full 90 degree burnt uh, bend. Um, or close oh, to it from what awesome. it looks like. Uh, that's so awesome. the air, the air trigger has a <laughs> has a uh, lock on it, so you got to be careful with that. It kind of allows you to leave it uh, unattended. So um, that's just part of the. It's not a joke thing. That's just part of the Harbor Freight deal. But because <laughs> uh, I, I let off of it and I thought I was past the 90 degree mark, or I was at the 90 degree mark, and it just kept on going. So. Um, so I think we're good. Now I didn't. I have my air compressor off, so it's not so loud. So it kind of slows down because I'm running out of air pressure. Uh, but otherwise, it would kick on and then the speed would stay up. But I'm I'm really interested in the uh, the electric hydraulic one too to see you know how that performs uh, because you won't be like you can actually take this you know you can mount it on the back of your truck or something like that and go do outside projects and you, you can use a, a generator to power it rather than you know, an air compressor. So. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a couple extra little oomphs. So I think that's our max on our bend. So let's we'll see what our spring back is. Because usually all of these have a little bit of spring back. You'll have to measure it. Uh, kind of probably varies depending on the metal that you're using and all that. And obviously we didn't have it, the clamp tightened very well. So we just went back and re-tightened uh, everything and it, it all lined up just great. Um, so, I mean, it looks good, man. Uh, and we're going to undo it now. Where am I going here? Alright, so I just undid it a little bit. And I should be able to uh, pull this bar out, right? Yeah. Pull the clip. Well, let's see if uh, this, uh, I need to loosen it a little bit more. There we go. Alright. Okay, I'm going to remove the little safety clips, and now there's our bar, and I should be able to take it right off the die. Alright, man, so this is just a rusty piece of steel I had laying around, and as you can see, I mean it looks really good. There's no kinking or anything. Um, and that's a full 90 degree bend. And like I was saying, this block stays on as part of it. So when you're, you know, if I need to stick it back in and continue the bend, like say I only did, you know, you know, 20 degree bend and I need to go to 30, uh, then I can stick the block back in, stick this whole piece back in and finish my bend and I don't have to worry about lining it back up. So did a really nice job, really tight bend on really thick metal, uh, not, not a lot of Compression, you know, all of them usually get a little bit of compression on this end, you know, where it gets a little more narrow uh, on the bend area and looks, you know, identical to the other benders I've used. So it's pretty nice and and good. So I like it, man. I mean, what do you think? Looks awesome. I think it did a great See, that's pretty thick, uh, you know. Yeah, that's got to be 120. Yeah, 120. So it's pretty thick. And... No bends or deformations. It bent it pretty quick and without then, the compressor on too. Yeah, dude, so this bent all really fast and I'd have to say, God, I don't know, it's, it's. I mean, it, I think it's faster than, than the other bender <laughs> that I had. So, uh, I don't know, man, it looks good. And, you know, there's a there's a little kink right there where we had to take it back out. You know, that's where we started the bend before that little this piece loosened up on us. So we started it back there, but, uh, I mean, you know, even that's acceptable and not a big deal. Oh yeah, so we got one and five eighths, uh, and this is full DOM steel. So looks good. Definitely, I like it. And then, like I said, we can stick it back in and finish the bend if we wanted to, and just line it back up, and away we go. Uh, so that's that's something because the last thing we're going to be doing is experimental. And this is, you know, one of the things that struck me as being really important is that I can take this part out, whether it's real big or small or whatever, go fit it into the car, leave this block on it, and then come back out and finish the bend if I need to. Uh, so I, you know, I, I kind of like that. Um, all right, pretty cool. And then we just loosen uh, this piece up, 
So here's these big long springs that it comes with. So these are the return spring. So when you get ready to do another piece, you just sound like a dead cat. <laughs> start position and you're ready for your next pipe ready for the next pipe so that's awesome man I, I like it mm -hmm. that was an easy quick easy bend uh, all right so anyway I hope that was some good video for you guys and showed you a lot about a new different kind of bender that's out there that I thought was really unique that's why I'm kind of going through all this trouble is this dude is you know super legit it's all American made it's you know, he has a really interesting product that's different than the others that I've used. And, you know, I like that. So, you know me, I like different stuff, right? So, uh, I, I think it's pretty cool and I like the verticalness. I mean, it's pretty big, you know, so it's, it's, it's bigger, bigger than the other system, but the space that it uses is all vertical. So it's real narrow. You can keep this push it into the corner when you're not using it. Uh, you know, you got all kinds of ways of mounting it, whether it's on a table or a cart uh, or a stand, you know, so you had that option with the other vendor and we just had to put it on a pedestal and we'd have a big wide area um, to use it in. And this, you know, I'm using it in this little tiny space between my car and my refrigerator. So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, you know, I mean, that's pretty cool working in a tight space and, uh, you know, steel is heavy duty and I don't see that it's going to bend um, and it's certainly not under engineered or over engineered I think it's done just right and there's some really serious good engineering going into this um, he has a bunch of other stuff that uh, he's going to be doing and uh, releasing along with the hydraulic and some other stuff and a cool cart that he's supposed to show me because um, I want to do his other stuff and he's got a tube notcher so I'd like to show you guys the tube notcher at some point um, I have another one that I use, and it's it's good. I really I can't complain about it. Um, but he's got one. I like to try it out because his tube notcher, you can actually stick on the car and notch pieces directly on like the roll cage or whatever. Uh, so it's kind of light enough to do that. Where my other one is like that thing weighs like 30 pounds almost. It's super heavy duty, and it's just made out of solid steel um, that's a half or you know an inch thick or so. So. Uh, you know, I like to try out that bender, I mean that, that notcher, and it's got all kinds of various angles and it holds different types of metal. And it also works on bends, so you can put your notcher right on the bend. Uh, you know, mine you can kind of do that with, but you have to, you know, rig it in a certain way. Uh, and, it's, and it's fairly step, uh, limited on its radius. But, I don't know, you don't really get too crazy with your, with your notch radiuses anyway, or your notch angles. So, um, other than that, I think it's cool. I think we're gonna call it a day. We've been at this all day doing videos, and I think the longest part was just uploading the uh, the videos off the camera. They really need to come out with something better than USB to do that with. I mean, my goodness, that take, takes forever. <laughs> so anyway, so I got like 30 gigs of video to edit, <laughs> and I'll uh, get this uh, to you guys as soon as I can kind of edit all this together in little chunks. So I'll uh, see you guys next time. Later.